Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Sync Fusion Flutter Range Selector. In this video, you will see how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter Sliders package to a Flutter project and add the Range Selector widget to it. After creating the Range Selector, I will explain how to use a chart widget as the Range Selector's child widget. Then, I will show you how to set value limits, show data labels, intervals, and ticks, enable tooltips, and format the Range Selector values. Also, I will show you how to get the selected values and move the thumb in a discrete manner. Finally, I will show you how to set date time values to the range selector. First, open the VS Code Editor. You can also use an IDE you prefer such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, which allows me to run the application in mobile, web, and desktop devices. Now I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project in. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. Run this application in the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Now, let me show you how to add range selector and chart widgets in this app, replacing the text and button widgets. First, I need to import the Sync Fusion Flutter Sliders package from the pub.dev website. So, open the pub spec YAML file and declare the dependency Sync Fusion underscore Flutter underscore sliders using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command flutter pub git to download the package. The download is now complete. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the sliders.dart library so that you can use the range selector widget in this file. Let's write the range selector with a numeric data type within the my homepage state class. So, remove the code in the my homepage state class for the sake of clarity. Override the build method and within the build method, return a safe area widget to render the range selector within the usable area. To its child, set a scaffold widget so that you can set the material design to your application. To the scaffold's body, set a center widget and set the SF range selector widget. The SF range selector requires the child property on which it can act as a range selector. So, I will set the child property with a chart widget in the SF range selector. You can add any widget as the child of the range selector. First, I need to import the Sync Fusion Flutter Charts package from the pub.dev website. I add a new Dart file where I have already added a function that returns a chart widget with a numeric value in its x-axis, so that I can explain the range selector with numeric data type. In this file, I have imported the chart package to access the chart-related classes. The build chart function returns the SF Cartesian chart with numeric x and y-axis values. A spline area series is used, and the data bound to it can be seen here. Let me bind this function, build chart, as the range selector's child. In the main.dart file, set the SF range selector's child property with the function build chart. Next, I need to set the initial selected values to the range selector. So, in the my homepage state class, declare a field of type SF range values to provide the selected values. To initialize it, Override the init state method and within it initialize the field with the SF range values class by passing the start and end range. In the SF range selector, set the initial values property with the field created just before. I also set the min and max properties for the range selector. Using the initial values and the min and max properties data types, the SF range selector can understand the data type bound to it. Here, it's a double type. Now everything is set. I restart the application. You can see a chart displaying a spline area series that is bound with a range selector with initial values selected. Let me enable labels so that you can see the min and max values in the range selector. Set the show labels property with the value true. Save the file. You can see the labels are displayed in the range selector. You can show intervals on the range selector by setting the interval property with the desired value. I set the interval as 2 and save the file, and you can see the intervals displayed in the range selector. You can also show ticks by enabling the show ticks property. The values in the range selector can also be formatted. To do so, first I need to import the intel package. 
In the SF range selector, set the number format property with the number format class's simple currency constructor. Set the decimal digits as zero so that no decimal points will be displayed in the range selector. Now, save the file, and you can see the range selector values are formatted as currency values, which use the US dollar format by default. I can show tooltips by setting the enable tooltip property with the value true. Now, dragging the slider bar, you can see the tooltip tell us the value selected in the range selector. Next, I will show you how to get the selected range of values from the range selector. Use the unchanged callback with an inline function receiving the parameter of type SF range values. Let me print the parameter values. Save the file, drag the slider bar, and in the debug console, you can see the selected values. You can see that the values are not selected in a discrete manner. To select discrete values, you can use the step size property and set the desired value. I set the value 1. Save the file and drag the slider bar. Now, you can see the values can be selected in a discrete manner. Now, let me show you how to set date time values in the SF range selector. First, let me add a Dart file that contains a function that returns a chart widget with date time values in its x axis. You can notice here in its data source that all the x axis values are of type date time. Now, let me use this file's build chart function in the SF range selector. In the main.dart file, remove numeric chart.dart and import the date type chart.dart. In the SF range selector, this build chart function will return a chart widget with a date time x axis. I need to change all the double typed values to date time values. First, let me change the initial values. I remove the start and end double values and add date time values. I set the min property with a date time value, I do the same for the max property. Now, the SF range selector can understand its data type is date time. Still, I need to change the format of the range selector. So, remove the number format property, add the date format property, and set the date format class's Y constructor. This will show the years alone in the labels. Also, I need to set the date interval type as years. I can also set the date interval type as days, hours, minutes, months, or seconds. I need to change the step size too. I remove the property step size and add the step duration property. I set the slider step duration class with years property 1. I can also add days, hours, minutes, months, and seconds. I restart the application. You can see the labels are displayed in your format with min and max values. When I drag the slider bar, notice that the step size is one year as we specified. You can get the values using the same unchanged callback that has printed the values in the debug console. Let me show you how the same code works in a web browser. I'll stop the application, change the device name to Chrome, and run the application. You can see the range selector with a chart as its child. I can drag the slider bars to change the selected range. Finally, let me show you how this app works on the desktop. Stop the application. Change the device to Windows and run the application. You can see the range selector with a chart as its child. That's it. Let me summarize the main points of this video. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter range selector widget to a Flutter project. You learned how to use a chart widget as the range selector's child widget. Then, you saw how to set value limits, show data labels, intervals, and ticks, enable tooltips, and format the range selector values. Also, you learned how to get the selected values and move the thumb in a discrete manner. Finally, I showed you how to set date time values to the range selector. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. I've also provided a link where you can check if you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.